So hello and good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from uh, Kurbal.com and uh, I have a real treat for you today. Um, you're going to be able to download a configurable and self-generated calendar in Power BI. So this is really awesome. I finalized this today, but I couldn't wait to make the video to show you guys. Uh, because this is going to save you and me like tons and tons of work and hours. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what it really is and what it does. Let's go for it. So here we have the Power BI file. We're going to open it. And voila, this is what you see. Uh, it is asking you to input, uh, first of all, the year, and that is the first year that you want your calendar to be. So let's say I want my calendar from May 2015 to today. So we write 2015, month, we say May, and day 12. And then it's asking me about language. This is the language for the month name and day name. And there are a few languages you can choose from. Uh, I'll keep it in English for now. And then it tell, it's asking me, would you like to start the week on Monday or on Sunday? You know, different countries have different uh, rules. So we say on uh, Monday because we're in Europe. And then you just click load. And voila, you see, it generates a calendar for you. So this is really, really, really awesome. Um, if you want, you can go back and change this to, I don't know, another language, Spanish. You can add other languages, I'll show you how later. So we say Spanish, click refresh. And then let's check it out. Is there some Spanish? Yeah, there's some Spanish here. So this is like, you know, it is, it's just extremely useful. You, you don't have to do anything more than open a Power BI file. So you have this uh, file for download if you want. The, the calendar is a bit simplistic, um, but I'm going to show you how it is configured so you can add your columns or a fiscal calendar or whatever you would like to have. But you do it once and then you're done. And that's the beauty of this. So let's look at how it has been built. We go to edit queries and the, here we are in the query editor of Power Query. So what you will see here is uh, the source. Uh, we are using a function called list dates that is available in uh, Power Query that generates a calendar. Step two, you have to tell which dates you want the calendar to, to be. Uh, that's where you say from year, month, day. Normally you would write hardcore this in here, right? But what I've done is I've created parameters for that. So there's a year parameter, a month, and a day, and that's what you see in there. So you don't have to go into this code to configure your calendar. You can do it outside. Um, another thing that you have, you see that everything is properly named, which makes it easier, you know, if you want to change something specific. Uh, you have properties, uh, like a query step description that helps you understand uh, what this uh, step, query step is all about. So if you want to uh, modify it, you can read here what it's actually doing so it gets easier. For example, for day name, if we click on properties, here it says, what this query does is extract the name from date column using American names. Navigate here for the language is not included. I mean, this is absolutely awesome. So if we would go in there, it's not a direct link, but anyhow, 
So here you have all. This is the code that you have to to put in. And let's say that we want to add uh, uh, Greek. So to do that, you just go in here and say always oh, E L. We go to our query parameters. Is here manage parameters. We go to language, and as you see, this is a list. So what we need to do is to add the new parameter. There you go. Okay. And now the uh, query parameter will be set up so, so you can actually change it again when you open the file. Um, anything else? I have group the same, um, how to say, the same actions are group. For example, here's where we actually create the calendar. And here are the steps to sort the columns and everything is grouped so you can easily find things. And then I have group also when change types, when these are changed. Uh, I see that I've actually missed one here. Week number. So let's go back there and change that to text. Otherwise, he will give us problems later on. So, so this is basically how it works. Now, how do I do it so it asks me for the query parameters when I open the file? What you have to do is to save this as a template. So you take the file say save us and then you save it here power bi template file so when you do that again somebody op opens it then you will get the query parameters uh, option or dialog box to to actually fill them in so basically they will get this so instead of open now a new power bi file from here make sure that you have this file available and always open this file because then you won't have to create a, a calendar and most i mean it has happened to me at least that a lot of times i think oh i'm not going to need a calendar i don't build it and well you always need a calendar so why not start with it so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like, please let me know. Or if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment box. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like it. I published around the video a week. And remember that the file, you have the file available for download on the description box. Have a good evening. Bye.